Reporter Charlie Keegan talked to a couple of former Olympians from our area about life after the games. He's on the starting block. Charlie, that's right. What do they do now? Take your mark. I, sh I sure am. I had a chance to speak with a couple of Olympians about how they know when to decide to take that last step here off the starting blocks and hang up their spikes or whatever uh, you know apparatus they're using in their sport. You know, they want to leave the track, the swimming pool, on their own terms. So I had a chance to speak with Central High School grad Muna Lee, who was a sprinter in both the 2004 Athens Games and the 2008 Games in Beijing. She told me that she was in real constant communication with her body to try and figure out you know, when it was time to step away. But she said, just barely missing a medal by one one hundredth of a second in Beijing really gave her some motivation to continue into that professional track world in 2009 and beyond. There's a motivation there, but there's also that, okay, I didn't get a medal, so you go down and then you come back up on that emotional roller coaster. Because I knew, I knew coming into the next year that I would run faster. I didn't, I didn't end with the injuries. I ended my season healthy. She ended her season healthy and then was a big part of a relay team at the 2009 World, so continuing past the Olympics. I also had a chance to speak with Shannon Vreeland, a swimmer from Blue Valley West High School. She won gold in 2012, but had injuries in 2016 that kept her from going to the Olympics there that year. She said she already kind of had plans for a post-Olympic career anyway, so she wasn't, um, you know, banking on those 2016 Olympics, you know, in one way. Guys. Yeah. So what are they doing now, Charlie? All right, yeah, uh, Vreeland is now an attorney. She uh, is an environmental law attorney in the Atlanta area, having completed law school at Vanderbilt after the Olympics. And Muna Lee is right back here in Kansas City, moved back here about two years ago, not quite two years ago, and is coaching track. She's got her own uh, track uh, club set up there at Hy-Vee Arena. Love that. Both having very successful post-Olympic careers. Absolutely. Thank Charlie, you, Charlie, thanks so much.